Welcome to an advanced preview of Pit Stop 13, which will be released in April of 2015. The following video is one in a series of clips designed to showcase what new and existing users of Pit Stop Pro can look forward to in our upcoming release of Pit Stop 13. The subject of this video is the new and improved action list, Add Bleed, which can now create bleed for both vector shapes and raster or image data when this material is either insufficient or simply not present within a supplied PDF file. Before examining the technical properties, allow me to demonstrate just how easy this action list is to use in real-world situations in which supplied files have arrived with no bleed. While it is possible to perform automated preflight checks for proper bleed box assignment and for adequate object-based bleed, we'll take a moment to manually examine the necessary components for bleed, which will help us to describe how the new and improved action list works and will also help new users to have a better grasp on what goes into a file with proper bleed configuration. Files need two basic elements for proper bleed. First, a properly defined bleed box and second, objects that are intended to run to a page edge must be extended past the trim box to the edge of the bleed box. Our first example file immediately shows visual signs of concern since information appears to abut the crop marks. To further validate this concern, if we enable the pit stop page box view, you can see the trim box in dark blue and the bleed box in cyan, but no page data between these two sets of guides. Finally, if we switch to the pit stop wireframe mode, our concern is indeed valid. Not only is there no information in our bleed box area, objects show no signs of any additional information, which may have been hidden or masked and potentially used for bleed. This particular design, as with many, leave little option for production, as enlarging objects to create bleed would produce unwanted results. Historically, this file would be unusable. Production would cease until new files with appropriate bleed arrive. Running the add bleed action list quickly and effectively adds both vector and raster bleed to a file which previously had none, and so production resumes. A second sample file depicts a very similar scenario, and as we check the same criteria, we first visually notice the lack of bleed in relation to the crop marks. When engaging the page box view, notice that this space is empty. And lastly, in pit stop wireframe mode, there is clearly no hope to produce bleed using this file as is. Enlarging objects will again yield a compromised design, so we'll execute the add bleed action list and review our results. Once again, our page is now correct and production can continue. Let's now look at how the action list works. In situations where content is available to generate bleed, PitStop will detect this and create bleed to fit the size of the bleed box. For this reason, it is important to ensure that a given document has a bleed box present and that it is sized accordingly to provide the required amount of bleed. In other words, information that was masked by the originating application at the time the PDF file was made. In our third example file, you'll see that this file differs from our previous examples in that the wireframe mode shows that this file has usable data that is currently masked on the left edge and bottom. This file also contains no bleed on the right edge and at the top. PitStop will simply reveal these masked areas, exposing the information for bleed. When PitStop encounters a PDF file with no available bleed, it will now use a mirroring technique to generate sufficient bleed. The newly created mirrored object is kept independent from the original image, but is an exact copy of the original, retaining all attributes such as overprint, ICC profile tagging, and color space, for example. These objects can be edited or deleted if necessary. To more clearly illustrate the mirroring technique used by PitStop to generate bleed, we'll execute the add bleed action list on a file which contains all image color spaces available in a PDF file. It has grayscale, spot color monotone, a duotone, tritone, RGB, CMYK, LAB, a multi-channel image of CMYK, and two spot colors. This page is also missing bleed. After executing the add bleed action list, you can now see I have bleed. 
And if I now go to the output preview and turn off the black separation, you can see that my generated bleed has the same color separations as my original content. If I turn off the other process colors, cyan, magenta, and yellow, you can see the separations are as you would expect. As with any adjustments made to a supplied file, you'll need to examine the results to ensure that the effect is acceptable and will not compromise the content. Thank you for watching. We hope that you found this video useful, and be sure to watch all the videos in this series as the excitement builds leading towards our latest release of Pitstop Pro, version 13.